Coming up next, we have a competition where you, yes, you at home, could win one packet of crisps. All you have to do is just phone in for £2.50 a minute, be on hold for half an hour, and you could be a winner of that said packet of crisps. What's going on, everyone? It's me, your man, Alex the Rambler. Got the goatee back now, right? Right? And today, we're back on... Hearts of Iron 4! Look at that transition. Seamless. Seamless. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do. Comment, like, subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, this must be embarrassing to watch. I apologise. Uh, but yes, this was recorded live over on the YouTubes, and we're doing the In the Name of the Sar mod, which I haven't played for years. I think it's had loads of updates. Uh, you're waiting for Lady Rambler. She's at work, so you might be waiting a long time. This mod is a set where Russia wins World War I, I think. What if Russia won World War I? This mod is an overhaul of Hearts of Iron and takes place in an alternate timeline where Russia, after the Brusilov's offensive, managed to break through the Austrian defences, taking out the Austria-Hungarian Empire from the war. Germany, fearing complete destruction of the Empire, sued for peace in the beginning of 1917. This is funny yet kind of cringe. That's what recording a video is like for me on the daily. Let's take a little look at the map. Uh, we have the Imperial Russia. They control Istanbul as well. Or, sorry, Constantinople. Or is it Istanbul, not Constantinople? Istanbul, not Constantinople. Da, 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 da. Then you also have Germany's all been split up. You've still got the Kingdom of Prussia, who's led by Hans von Sect. And Kaiser Wilhelm also gives you a little bit of a boost. Baden Wurttemberg, the Czechoslovak Republic, the French Republic, the Kingdom of Italy. So most of the world is almost the same. Well, does this ever change? This never really changes, does it? This looks normal. Every time. It's normal. Oh, China's obviously changed. You've got the, the Qing Empire and then the Republic of China. You've also got the Japanese Empire. Well, that's changed a little bit. Oh, there's Hirohito. He looks a bit different, doesn't he? I'm trying to think. What would be quite fun for me to do? I'm not worried about you lot. I just care about making myself happy. <laughs> um, we'll do a poll. I'll do a poll because I guess I care about your opinion sometimes. Not often, though. Yeah, he cares a little. Yeah, a little, not a lot. So we've got Serbia. That's what we'll play as. You've won. Italy came second. No one wants me to play as Russia. Wow. But the one I want to play as, none of you care about. I see. I see how it is. Fine. I will do something I've never done before, and we'll play as Serbia. Serbia emerged victorious after the Great War, but at a devastating cost. The Serbian population had lost, has had so many casualties, they lost about one-fifth their population. The instability and vacant job positions have divided the nation into two halves. Those who want to unite under the southern Slavic people under their king, Alexander. <gasps> playing as myself in Hoi 4. Again. And those who follow the Bavarian-inspired politician, Josef Brotz Tito. Whose path, what path will the Serbs choose? I wonder what we'll choose, eh? I wonder. We don't need to wonder. Bam. Let's go. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Okay, so our military is already quite large, but... 92,000 out of 181,000. Boo! And I can establish... Oh, we annex the kit. That's our first focus, annexing a kingdom. Chonky! Montenegro is a kingdom that is filled to the brim with Serbs. Their economy is in ruins and their only saviour is us. Let us welcome the brother, our brothers and finally gain a coastline. Oh, we don't have a coastline. Oh, well, we will soon. And Illyria is a puppet. The first few things I always do are industry related. Bam, just gets you off to a good start. 69% stability. Giggity giggity. That's me, Alexander. The first, apparently. Oh yeah. Oh my, this is a monarchist playthrough. Hey, bam. Oh, the Young Turk Rebellion. Or the Constantinople Uprising. Okay, so they've taken back Constantinople. Things are heating up. Giggity. Serbia at a crossroads. Well, here we go. We are a crippled nation. Our industry is in ruins. Our people are divided by the communist and royalist supporters and our relations with other countries are shattered. We must choose which path to go to dominate the Balkans and become a world power. You want me to do that voice more? What is... <laughs> I always thought that maybe I could get into radio one day. Coming up next, we have a competition where you, yes, you at home, could win one packet of crisps. All you have to do is just phone in for £2.50 a minute, be on hold for half an hour, and you could be a winner of that said packet of crisps. Oh, Nikolai dies. Oh, I just skipped over that event completely. Well, now Russia's in the provisional government. Did he not have any children? Okay. Oh, do I embrace socialism? Or do I follow the king? Oh, what a difficult choice this is. The monarchy has been the only government that has ruled over Serbia, and that will never not be the case. 
even though corruption is running rampant in our government and the communist threat is at its zenith, King Alexander will soon bring glory. Bavaria proclaims German hegemony. And we've got, we're remembering the battle for Belgrade. There's been a communist uprising in Spain. But let's try and turn Serbia into a superpower. I'm on the wrong screen. Well, you missed all those events. <laughs> Ooh, Portuguese got a new monarchy. Who's leading it? Manuel. Ah, the Prussian dictator dies. Hans von Secht has taken power of Prussia following Germany's defeat in the Weltkrieg. So here we have uh, Prussia integrates Nieder Deutschland. Oh, the North German Confederation. Oh, God, I'm not even showing the map. I'm on the wrong screen again. Oh, sorry. Here we have the North. We have the North German Confederation led by August von Mackensen. So it's just the Southern Commune that needs to be taken care of, and they can be a tricky, tricky one. Ah. Okay, well, they're gone, they've gone to war already. North German Confederation and the Southern Commune. 1937 and Germany's at it again. I really hope Mackensen wins. Oh, the Syrian revolt's capitulated and is now under the French Republic. And they've crowned a caliph in the Ottoman Empire. It's back. Uh, let's do a captain of... Oh, God, I didn't even get a captain of industry. I've been focusing too much on... Hold on, can you stack these effects? Oh, Let's propose Serbo-Croatian unification. After the Great War, we wanted to unify with Croatia to create a strong South Slavic state. The pesky Italians and Russians forced us to drop this idea. With our government finally secure, we can throw to caution to the wind! It is time to start unification talks with Croatia. This morning, Alexander I and his advisers proposed to the state of Croatia the idea of unification. The idea of a united Balkan country was a popular idea. But due to Russian interest in Serbia not wanting ethnic terror, the idea was dropped. Okay. I want to revive the dream. Let's award Croatia with Vluma. It's been a contested state. The state with mainly Croat was given to Serbia anyway. Okay, so we'll give them Vluma. Russia stands with Eastern Coalition. Who's in charge now? Mikhail II. All right. Shall I solve the Bosnian issue? Oh my gosh. Can I have it? We can guarantee their autonomy will be well maintained. Sure. What do we do now? <laughs> I'm still lacking rifles for the army. And I'm just getting the army ready in case they decline to join me. Because that won't go very well for them. Develop Adriatic forts. In oh, this might be handy. We've got options. We've got options. A crossroads of alignment. I don't really want to align myself to anyone. So I think that's why you can expand the Balkan League, right? Oh, wow. We create the faction, the Balkan Shield Force. Bam! There we go. I still can't believe just forming a faction gives you extra division attack. That's pretty nice. Ew. Well... <laughs> That's always gone well in the past, hasn't it? But this is just a video game, so I'm sure they won't have any repercussions. I'm just going to expand the war industry, one of our civilian... The reason I'm choosing this is because I'm building civilian factories anyway, so... Ooh, 100 extra bonus for industry. Oh, oil. I'm going to do the civilian industry instead. I changed my mind. Personal growth. There we go. I'm not hunkering down in one decision. Oh, uh, who's... Res Huey! Huey Long going up against Francis Perkins? What? Oh, what's happening? Oh, are they fending off? Oh dear. Sorry, I've just noticed that Japan is on a bit of a spree. It looks like the North German Confederation might be reunited and Mackensen's done a very nice job at destroying the communists. But I need to start focusing on um, expansion soon if we want to be a middling power in the world. Croatia has finally agreed to unification. The dream of a united South Slavic state is finally becoming a reality. Good. So I may have to go after the... Oh my giddily. Ingelbert Dolphus. <sighs> oh my god. They haven't finished off Afghanistan yet. They're going after Iran. After many days of negotiation, Croatia and Serbia came to an agreement regarding unification. Serbia takes control over all government, but guarantees Bosnian and Croatian rights to avoid ethnic terror. A dream come true. The Balkan states are finally united. The leader of this country will be Alexander I. Hmm. Okay, we need to build up quite a large army now, I guess. We'll invite other nations to the Balkan League, shall we, so we can become chonky. Greece was our ally. Yeah, let's see if Greece want to join the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. Okay, Croatian states are all fully integrated. Fantastic. Croatia is now a core, so, so is Bosnia and Lika. So our manpower will be quite chonky. I am going to produce as much artillery as humanly possible. Greece joins the Balkan Shield Force. Great. What about... Ro oh, if we can get Romania in. Romania has always been a worthy ally to the self-Slavs. Oh, we're growing. We grow stronger. Yeah, we're going Yugoslavia. Kingdom of Yugoslavia now. Our stockpile's looking good apart from artillery, which we're solving. It's all going well.
Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just trying to increase my soft attack, which is very tasty because the artillery divisions already have decent soft attack anyway. So if you're increasing that, it's just it's just going to obviously it scales and it's very tasty. Kingdom Alex, why? Well, because it's a monarchist playthrough. Thank you very much. What did you expect from me? Keep upgrading Banat. Romania accepts to join the Balkan Shield Force. Now we'll look to Bulgaria. Oh, we're going to be so powerful. Oh. 34 divisions to go up against Austria-Hungary. If I were to look at their intel ledger, which I don't have any intel on them, <laughs> we'll find out. Look to Bulgaria. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Recruitable population of 5%, mass conscription. Bam. Oh yeah, we're, we're sailing. I mean, just look at this faction though. We're... Bam. This is pretty chonky. Oh no, Manuel, he's dead. Well, I'm never going to 40 Towers. To war! We will liberate the Slovenes! Remained Austrian due to Russia wanting a stable and pro-Russian Austria. Their efforts were in vain. That's true, actually. I will stop them. Hush! <coughs> What's your problem? Well, the Spanish Empire. Do you want to join my faction? Oh, go on. It's only Germany. Ah, sh <coughs> What the f- Oh, God. Look at the troops amassing on the border. Eh, uh, we'll give it the good old Rambler try, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Um, cough. I'm just going to see if I can hold this line. I don't think I'll be able to. As you can see, they have tanks, uh, which means I'm dead. Yeah, like they've already broken through. They break through instantly. Yeah. So we can't go to war yet. Let's say I decided to do this because I know you're thinking, well, why aren't you? Why aren't you going behind the rivers? Well, OK, let's go behind the rivers and let's see if it has much of a difference. So I was expecting to just go up against... Austria. Not uh, to have to have this whole thing going on. And you can see they're just attacking relentlessly. And let's see what's going on here. They have uh, panzer divisions, artillery divisions. My divisions just aren't capable of doing much. I mean, they have bombers, they have no CAS, but they have aerial superiority, and I don't have any anti-air. In any situation where we have to try and hold, it just won't work. Uh, even if I were to be like, oh hey, help. I don't imagine that it will go any better for me. Maybe it will a little bit. If Romania gets pushed back, which is likely because they're AI, then they'll just go around my flank. And our allies have said nothing. Uh, hopefully I can eat my words and will actually begin to hold. If it's just Austrian divisions, we'll beat them no problem. And each time I'm upgrading my artillery, that will help even more. So let's see if we can just keep pushing them back to, the, uh, to their original line. The Austrian divisions are absolute trash. The UK has joined the French Republic as our ally. All right, now things get a bit more interesting. Uh, hey, we've got Canada on our side. We cannot lose now. And we have aerial superiority in the Western Balkans now. And Austria is already running out of equipment or manpower, one of the two. Let's continue the push. As long as our equipment stays in surplus, we can keep up this push. I think we have another river to try and cross, don't we? Yeah, it's all along one massive river now. So that's where the real trouble comes in. Run across over that. I can get over that river. My units will be faster than theirs. Hey! We've run out of infantry equipment. Or we are running out. So we'll have to refocus our efforts there. Italy might join. If Italy joins, then it's over. They are nationalist, so what would I do here? I don't have the forces. Let's hold our position and try and weaken the Austrians once uh, a little bit more. Yeah, so... Uh, the division templates I'm using are, are just these, which are more than a match for Austrian divisions. They're not a match for German divisions, so we really need Russia to try and come in. That's very frustrating that all of our progress will be lost. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> Take it that the wars are doing well here. Yeah. Well, this is what you all voted for. A chonky chonky... Uh, or an attempt at a chonky chonky Yugoslavia. Whether that will happen now or not remains to be seen. I'm going to try my best though. I'm just trying to keep the Italians pinned down there with minimal divisions while I reinforce. Ah, yeah. Well, they'll join up with Zara soon. Um, yeah, this is looking bad. Intense concentration might get me out of this. <laughs> Russia help. Yeah, I could really do with Russia's help right now. Oh, why do you have to be in your own faction? Join me. And together we can rid... Why aren't they taking a... Oh, they are slowly taking attrition. I have a cunning plan. It's that. That's my plan. 
<laughs> Do you reckon that'll work? Losing my factories at this point doesn't matter so much as losing my country. If I can keep half of them uh, entrenched and well supplied by my capital, then we have a better chance of existing in a year's time. Whereas at the moment, I don't have much of a chance to hold against the amount of divisions that they're sending. They have no port. I don't know how they're alive. I'll just apply more pressure to them. How can we not defeat one freaking... This is taking the biscuit. This is fine. Oh, yeah. Okay, they're encircled. Okay, fine. Oh, now they want to help me. The absolute... Oh, oh man. This is frustrating, isn't it? And these Italians, how <laughs> don't they die? I don't understand how they're alive. Look, I can't beat them. Oh dear, sorry. I've gone, I've gone into complete focus zone, haven't I? Um, I don't know how to win. Luckily, the Spanish Empire has collapsed and the French Republic, I think, is kind of holding. We just need Russia to enter and we'd be okay. Like, for example, here, I can just... They don't have the supply here, so I can just be like, haha. Oh, well, just kidding. Okay, I think we've finally broken the Italians. Oh, yes. How are they still doing this? How are they still capable of mounting an attack? Ah! No. Au revoir. Really? We're able to hold the Ottomans with this pile of trash. Oh yeah, the rest of the world. Okay, well, um, the Confederates are dying. Good. Then it, uh, France is dying despite the Spanish dying. So really... <sighs> France is just... France. How? How have the Italians broken through? What, what is your problem, France? Why can't you ever do anything competently? Uh, Japan's gone absolute... Uh, well, they've, they've taken everything. Uh, Russia just still aren't doing it. I... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 please. Please don't do that. Don't break through my final mountain line, you pieces of turds. Alright, so I need to go. Sorry. <laughs> I'm alive, though. This might have to return next week. I think I've done pretty well to actually still hold. Romania's looking like they're almost done though, so I, I don't know how we're going to deal with that. Look at all these casualties. Oh, we've almost caused a million casualties against Austria. Hopefully Russia will come on in and uh, yeet in. But thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll uh, speak to you all very soon. Thank you for watching. Toodaloo! Many thanks to Onion Duck, Seth Cutter Stoevic, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, Brandon Preston, Tad House, Vash, Warren P. George, Valhalla Halls, Yeah Boy, Jack Troshu, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous ramblers supporters on Patreon. And many thanks to all the other patrons too!